In this video, we are going to learn about the product rule of differentiation. So let us start. In case of product rule of differentiation, let us suppose we have a function y is equal to, uh, let us say it is 2x plus 3 into 4x plus 5. So now see you can see here this function y it is a product of other two, two one that is a 2x plus 3 and 4x plus 5 which uh, now both functions are in the multiplication. So now how to differentiate the functions which are in multiple. So for this one we have a product rule of differentiation. So now let us uh, discuss about the product rule here. So what is the product rule? Uh, now let us suppose that, uh, so, uh, let us suppose this function, first function is f of x and the second function is g of x. You can call this, uh, it as anything u, v or uh, first function, second function or you can call it as f of x and this one is a g of x. So now here, according to product rule of differentiation, differentiation of two functions which are in product with each other, so f of x into g of x that is equal to uh, now first function that is f of x for in first case uh, will remain this as it is and will do the differentiation of second function that is g of x. So it will be like this one first function as it is that is f of x as it is and differentiation of second function that is g of x plus now in the second case g of x as it is and differentiation of first function that is f of x. So now this is the complete product rule here and this one is very simple and the remaining thing will remain same uh, while solving the question. So now see here I am repeating once again here ddx of two functions f of x into g of x will be equal to f of x into differentiation of g of x plus g of x into differentiation of f of x. Now let us take an example or let us solve this one equation number one by using this product rule. So now again we will write on differentiating equation number one with respect to x we get. So what we will get here on left hand side it will be d dx of y this function and on right hand side it will be d dx of this complete 2x plus 3 into 4x plus 5 this one. So now again uh, compare this one with this formula here this is f of x into g of x this is f of x here and this one is a g of x here. So let us apply this formula so dy upon dx this one will be equal to here uh, f of x as it is then that means first function that is 2x plus 3 this is as it is and we will do the differentiation of second function g of x which is 4x plus 5 and now plus g of x as it is that means 4x plus 5 that is as it is into differentiation of a first one that is f of x 2x plus 3. So now let us solve this one here. So see here dy upon dx this is equal to here first function that is 2x plus 3 this one is as it is and now let us differentiate this one here. So now here see here we will do the individual differentiation of both these two term here. So uh, differentiation of x is always 1 and differentiation of uh, uh, 4 will come outside the differentiation. So finally differentiation of 4x that will be equal to 4 and differentiation of 5 that is 0. So finally we have only one value here 4 plus for the second one here 4x plus 5 as it is and differentiation of second function that is uh, differentiation of this one and this one. Now differentiation of 2x that will be equal to 2 and differentiation of 3 is 0 so no need to write this one. So now here finally dy upon dx that is equal to now multiply this one with 4 so it will be 8x plus 24 plus now multiply this one also 8x plus 10 5 to the 10. 
So now finally we have the result that is dy upon dx this is equal to 8 plus 8 that is 16 and uh, plus 24 plus 10 that is 34. So this is our required answer in case of a product rule of differentiation. Now in our next video we will study about the quotient rule or divide rule. Uh, in this case here let us suppose we have a function uh, y is equal to 4x plus 3 and uh, 5x plus 2. So now here in this case we have two functions, uh, two values uh, which is in division. So now how to solve this one or how to differentiate this function here we will do here this by using per, uh, div divide rule or you can say quotient rule. So in the next video we will discuss about this one. Thank you for watching the video.